get one. Um, well, I've got this at the show, and we're super excited because uh, we're going to talk to these beautiful girls about being reporters for the Hollywood Connections, as we are involved in so many opportunities out there. We have Pageant Live, which is really exciting to be out there. Do you oh, know Pam? Oh, yes! Of no, I've, I've been to Pam. Hey, Pam! <laughs> show with us as well with doing some uh, pageant, uh, actually news, that we're going to do with Pageant Live and we're really excited. And we also are excited because we have a new uh, thing on my website under Hollywood Connections if you'd like to support my show. And it's $20 at the station if you want to come to the station. Wow. It's a beautiful crown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's, <laughs> and it goes on your you know, arm. You can do that pageant wave. <laughs> if you get it online, it's $35. So we do have some great things. We have some of my hats that I'm selling online as well to support our show, and that goes right to Tantalk. And girls, I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. This I is such so a great fun. opportunity. Did like, you have fun? I yes. had so much fun. Like, Good. this is crazy. What would you like to say hi to Steve Mays? Hi, Mr. Steve Mays. <laughs> um, Ms. Dawn Reese over here absolutely adores you, and we all we adore do. you. Please call her. Call her. <laughs> call her. Call her. I sent him an email today. We're really excited about that as well. And also, too, is what I do. I'm looking for some ladies out there while we have you right. here. April, come on over here and talk. Actually, April is uh, one of our reporters in training, but she's been on some red carpet events already. Kind of squeeze in here. You're, oh, okay. you're good. I'm looking for a Mrs. Florida Diva. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody that wants to be a diva. This title, all you have to do is audition. Now, and you know, it's not a live pageant. All you do is audition, and we crown you at the station, or we have it a live Skype with you. This is our Miss Florida showbiz reporter, a Mrs. You have to be married. So we have a couple Mrs. titles open. Also, it's not just for Florida. We're worldwide. So we have ladies that, you know, I, I need you out there to report so you can call in with your um, audio so we can airplay it. So now, who would you like to interview? When you're out there, if you would like to be one of my reporters, who would you like to interview? What kind? What is, what's your background? Who would, who would you like to Oh my to gosh. Well, if I had, let's see, pageant wise, I think the greatest person I could possibly interview would have to be the reigning Miss Universe, Pia Alonzo yes. Horseback. She's actually from the Philippines. Ooh. And just her story, and also just how um, Miss Universe, the crowning moment, was handled and how she handled it with grace and pride. I think I want to interview her. Awesome. And to be able to just look at an insight of what she has to say. Awesome. And other people, now yeah. what kind of career? What's your okay. path that you want to follow? Like, what do you want to do? Okay, well, um, academically, I definitely want to be a um, pediatric dentist. <laughs> so, oh. so that one, if UF is hearing, <laughs> UF Dental School. No, but um, just show business. I think there's a lot of stars and celebrities I wish I had the chance to, like wow. Zac Efron, um, Selena Gomez. Yes, definitely all of that. Them. <laughs> okay, Zac. And film directors as well? Film, oh, yes, yes. Okay. Film directors, I think just being able to have that chance, I think with pageants, okay. you, um, it's just a stepping stone. Being able to be with your world, to just show biz in Hollywood, I think that's such a great, um, yes. being able to just be able to just interview them and talk to them all about it. I think that's what every pageant girl's dream is. I agree. And I have somebody for you. I'm going to set up an interview for you because you're not very far. It's Dr. Weitzel. Mm -hmm. He is a dentist and he's amazing. <gasps> and when he walked Ooh. in, he was like, Moses. You know? <laughs> and I want to tell you, I run out of dentists. But you know, as you want to be a pediatric dentistry, yes. I would like you to do a sit-down interview with him. How about we bring you back? We bring Dr. Weitzel to the station okay. and you can interview him in person. Oh my gosh, that'd be awesome. Because yes. he has miracle stories but he oh, had a radio wow. show we're trying to bring him back here but I think that would be a real good insight mm -hmm. because I want to introduce you to him can you come back to the station oh yeah definitely okay I'm yeah. gonna hook that up and then also what your platform is who do you I mean what, what do you want to do with your career well, I myself, I'm a big performer. Like, I love being on stage. Every time, like, the spotlight hits on me, it's like this special thing oozes out of me. And I love to perform and making people happy. Um, and that's something okay. that I definitely want to do with my life. So I would definitely want to interview, like, Leia Salonga. She's someone okay. that I definitely admire. Um, I've listened to all her music. So whether it's producers, actors, actresses, like, that's something I definitely want to learn more about. Awesome. Their experiences, how they've gone through the ups and downs, the audition process. Awesome. Um, I think it'll definitely help me with the career that I definitely want to go into. That's what I do, and that's what it's all about to help you get connected in show business as well. And you get two, or actually now you'll have to get probably four media IDs that, you know, it comes back to you with all the things that you're doing. Now, so too, is April, I want to introduce her sash and crown is going to be coming in. It's gorgeous as well. And uh, we have a new crown that we're going to be using, but you'll, she'll be getting a yellow and gold sash very, very soon. And okay. then she'll have the rest of this year for free, which anybody that does, but your year will say 2016 on. It and you'll actually have the whole next year. Okay. So wow. I want to send you out to different pageants to report uh, for positive pageantry. We have so many opportunities and red carpet events and you know get for I the volunteer heart. for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Premieres. <laughs> you know, and you have the only thing is that you need.
need is a good a microphone and a mm -hmm. camera, and you know how to upload to YouTube, oh, and yeah. you can send me those clips as okay, well. Perfect. And I'm April, learning. And she's <laughs> like, but you know, you were just with Alexia and Brandy, yeah. and you've met so many people. We have to get that footage from you as well. Next week, I'm going to start airing that on the air. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make more next week of our reporters so you can actually hear them and see them, Alexia and Nicholas, and you'll be on next week as well. All right, um, any other last words? Are you having fun so far? Yeah, I'm having actually so much fun. I'm glad to meet you guys. You guys are very energetic. And <laughs> we're like, oh, oh, you know what? If I can talk to Steve, I've got an idea, and I, you know, he does return my phone calls, and he's been wonderful. Actually, that's how I met my husband. Do you know that? Yeah. I have a story real quick. And um, so Steve Mays actually called me after I got off a tour with Model Productions. Mm -hmm. I was in New York setting the big stages up. And I went to Phoenix. I took a break. And Steve said, hey, do you want to judge a pageant in Orlando? Our nationals. I'll fly you in. So I flew in, and I had a car here that I had to sell, and I was going to go back to Phoenix. I was done with Florida for a while. Right, right. And so my um, two dogs at the time, my sister-in-law was watching, and he, Bert walked in, and I, and I said, who is that? And, <laughs> who? Yeah, and so and then I had to get to another pageant, and my, my brother said, take her to the airport. She's not going to fly to Texas. And so we actually have now been married oh, since February 28th, and uh, that was really because of Steve Mays. I would not actually have been... Um, I, Bert, that's true. I would not have met you if it wasn't for Steve to bring me mm -hmm. back here. Yep. Wow. Thank, so, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Matchmaker. Yeah, I said, yeah, Matchmaker. And that's been, it's been amazing. And we have a charter company that we're going to do some kids' charters coming up for sailboats and everything. We have a music video coming oh, up. You girls might want to be in on next Thursday. Is that right, Bert? Or the 20th? Yeah, next Six? Thursday. I volunteer for that. I will hook you up with Brandy. Next and Thursday, out on an island. Well. Yeah, that's good. And so you're all on Facebook, so get to your Facebook again because we're just doing a quick video. Yes, so my Facebook, um, my personal one is Michaela Belgus, and my Facebook page is National American Miss 2015 2016 Michaela Belgus, and that's Michael with an A at the end. And lastly, my Instagram is National American Miss 2016. So give me a follow. <laughs> <laughs> and yours? All right, so my personal Facebook is Keisha Abelgas. That's K-E-I-S-H-A-A-B-E-L-J-S. And I'm currently still working on my personal Facebook page for my current title. But my Instagram is uh, Keisha underscore Abelgas. I already gave you guys the spelling. But it's K-E-I-S-H-A underscore A-B-E-L-J-S. It's just because people always mix up my name with, like, Kesha. Okay. So I always have to make that clear. <laughs> okay. And Yvonne, come on in the, the picture real quick over here. Oh, really and good. April, give your, your Facebook. Um, well, my personal Facebook right now is just going to be April Young. I'm actually starting to make my model one. Okay. And my acting one. I'm sorry. And okay. my Instagram is A-N-J-Y underscore underscore underscore. And you can make your new Miss Team <laughs> You're Miss uh, Tampa. Yeah, I miss Team Tampa as well. Yeah. I can't wait for that. Our show is, yeah. I know. And I would think your gorgeous mother, come on over here on video, just say hi, bring your camera. That's an amazing camera. I bet, I bet, I bet a microphone can attach to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have a supporting uh, a role in this, and I'd like to bring you back to the show as a mom in pageants and going through that, because my mother was behind me and now she's passed on, and talk about what you have done and supporting your girls. Would you like to come back? Sure. Awesome. She, she's the best momager. I, I will let you know. <laughs> I'd like to say something about uh, pageantry. Mm -hmm. uh, positive. Positive right. pageantry. Right. Because uh, this is the type of pageantry Don Reese is about. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And the girls up here. Because there's other type of pageantries. And we, you guys have to promote this. Oh, well, yeah, you know what I do? I launch them. You know, what? I don't want to run live pageants. I did that 20 years ago, yes. Yvonne. And, and the main thing is I want to help girls get to National American Miss. Yeah. Yes. Like when you're with me and you go and you sit down and you're interviewing with one of the judges and you say, I'm a reporter for Hollywood Connections. Whoa, what is that? Right. Yeah. Yes. But they're looking for somebody that can stand up, talk out in front of a large public audience. And be able to audience. Just, yeah. Yes. Be able to just capture everyone's attention. Not exactly. Necessarily like the way you look, but the way you present yourself, the way you talk. Yeah. Right, exactly. And that's what Steve Mays and what National American Miss does. And they, they get. Now, a question real quick. How many times did you go with National American Miss before you got the title? Um, actually, I was very lucky to win National American Miss, the state title, on my very first try. Wow. Um, wow. Against 131 contestants, but that's all because of my mom and my sister. They definitely helped me so much. Um, my sister actually joined the year before me, and she was able to make it to the top 30, and I fell in love with the system. Yeah. Um, I was very shy before I joined National American Miss, See? and wow. when I got on stage, I just broke out of my shell, and I finally... Um, became into who I am right now. I think National 
traditional American business has definitely impacted my life because now I love theater arts, <laughs> I love performing, I love being in commercials, and it definitely helps me that. And I can't even imagine you being shy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. We have like home videos of like, who is that? No, I'm <laughs> very shy. We have, we have home videos of me like my dad taking a mm. video and I'm hiding behind my mom's yes. back because I'm just oh, like, wow. no. But you know, how old are you now? I'm 17. So when were you shy, would you say? Um, I started, I started there when I was nine, so that's when I started getting out of my show when I was nine years okay. old. Okay, well, and just, I know my, my husband's arms are hurting because we forgot <laughs> the other thing, but um, just for yes. I was shy, I was a twirler, and I twirled with my hands, yeah. and I, now I can't stand up. Um, <laughs> okay. well, we want to thank you for tuning in, girls, I'd like you to come back, we'll yeah, look after what you come. Come back. Yeah, that yes. would be great, yes. and uh, if you'd like to be a title holder, go to hollywoodconnections.biz, I'm Dawn Reese, call me at 727-871-7788, and remember, go to tantalk1340.com watch us live on the internet as well as three stations bye bye bye, bye.